And joining us now from Pittsburgh is Texas Governor Rick Perry. Governor, good morning. Good morning, Chris. How are you? Good. Today you unveil your long-awaited uh, energy jobs plan, plain and simple. And let's give the American people some specifics here in a non-convoluted way. What is it about your plan that should you be elected president come January 2013 that's going to put American people back to work? As I've traveled across the country, people have asked me that exact question. And we put a plan together that doesn't require uh, congressional action that will get 1.2 million Americans working. We do it by opening up these federal lands and federal waters for exploration. Uh, we pull back these onerous regulations that are killing jobs all across this country. And then you rebuild the EPA. Uh, when you think about the number of jobs that can be created because of this treasure trove of resources that are underneath the, uh, the United States and the lands of the United States, opening those up, it does two things. It will create a huge number of jobs. Put Americans back to work. That's what people are concerned about today. They want to know who on that stage, who running for president, really cares about their future and giving them the opportunity to have the dignity to take care of their family with the job. And, and that's what this uh, plan does. It clearly shows America in the first 100 days after I'm sworn in where I can get this country working to bring those resources to the ground to uh, open up a, all of the above portfolio of energy, frankly, okay, well, and well, make well, America more secure from an energy standpoint. Well, let me ask you this. So in order to implement the things that you want to implement, first thing you need to do is win your party's nomination. Right now, your poll numbers are moving in the wrong direction. Governor, let me ask you, you jumped onto the scene with such pomp and circumstance. What do you uh, attribute the, this, this latest plummet in the polls to? Well, you're going to have up and downs in polls. I mean, I was 25 points down the last time I ran for governor, and, and I think we ended up winning that by a substantial margin. So I don't get confused that uh, this early in the race. I mean, we've been, only, we've been in this race for eight weeks. Uh, it's going to be up. It's going to be down. Uh, I doubt very seriously if uh, who's leading in the polls today is going to be our nominee. Governor, your wife, uh, Anita, said yesterday that you're being, quote, brutalized by your party and your <laughs> opponents because of your faith. Uh, do you agree with that? Do, do you think that you're being targeted because of your relationship with God? Well, families always take these elections probably uh, as tough as anybody. Uh, my wife said two things yesterday. She said he's the most conservative candidate in the race, and he's a Christian. And uh, I can't argue with either one of those facts. And one other thing, you know, one of your supporters, Robert Jeffers, uh, called Mormonism a cult. He said uh, he did not believe that uh, Governor Romney believed in God. Now, you haven't disassociated yourself from those comments. And some people, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie said that makes you unfit for the presidency. Do you want to take this opportunity to distance yourself from those comments or are you OK with it? Well, from from the get go, first time we were asked, uh, we said we did not agree with uh, what that pastor said, uh, and that's the fact. And the other side of this is, just because someone is endorsed me doesn't mean I endorse what they say or, or, or what they do. And, and that's the case here. And we've said that repeatedly. So uh, I, I think uh, anyone trying to use this as a, a, a political tool just needs to look at the facts. Uh, we clearly said we didn't agree with, with that statement. Yep. Uh, but on the other side of it, if I have to spend all of my time disassociating myself with something that someone says about me, uh, or for that matter, if President Obama has to disassociate people who support him with things they say, we're not going to get much time to talk about how to create jobs in this country. And that's what Americans are interested in. They're, they're not yep. interested in these side issues and side shows. They're interested in how you're going to be able to get me, my family, uh, to have an environment where we have the dignity to have a job. I'm laying out that today at Pittsburgh, and there are going to be a lot of Americans, Democrats, Republicans, Independents, that say, you know what, that's a pe fella who's got a plan for America, and I'm going to be for him because he is the one that understands what's going on in this country. Governor, we thank you for taking the time. The good news in all this, you still raised $18 million in the third quarter, and you haven't lost an election in 30 years. So we'll see how this plays out. But, Governor, thank you very hey, much for taking the You're time welcome. this morning. We Take appreciate care. it. So long.